Sponsored by RxCardClub.com. Get a free prescription drug card and save up to 85% on prescription drugs. RxCardClub.com. Defense. McDaniel lead the way as Brookville Downs Franklin County 24 to 13. Brookville coach Mark Leinberg pulled out the underdog card this week to help fire up his team for Friday night's contest against Franklin County at Stinger Stadium. He pulled it because even though the Eagles entered with just one win, he knew they'd be a strong test for his team. And it paid off for the veteran coach, because his bees were the hungrier of the two teams for most of Friday night at Stinger Stadium. Lineberg's underdog bees raced out to a 24-0 lead through three quarters, and held on to down a feisty Franklin County team, 24-13, after allowing two scores in the fourth quarter. We talked about it today, we like being the role of an underdog, Lineberg said. Just go out there and play hard and get after it, and that's what we did. Very few penalties, our special teams were good. Those are the areas we've emphasized and improved on. The Bees also played timely defense, forcing the Eagles off the field on four of their five fourth down attempts. The 13 points surrendered is a season low for the Bees defense, which came in allowing a shade over 34 points per game. We've struggled on defense all year, Leinberg said. But I thought we played so well on defense tonight, we've worked at it. Our players have worked at it. Our coaches have worked at it. It's taken us a bit. That's a good team, and they've played good teams, he added. And we shut them down, for the most part, until late in the game. Brookville quarterback Lincoln McDaniel did his part to put his team ahead in the first half. On its second drive, McDaniel engineered the first scoring march with the help of his brother, Camden McDaniel. The brothers connected on a third and long for a first down, and again later in the drive to make a third and long a fourth and short. Lincoln McDaniel smashed through the line on fourth down for a first down, and capped the drive off with a 25-yard touchdown run to open the scoring. Their guy came down, I just bounced it out and took off, Lincoln McDaniel said. Penalties aided the next Brookville drive after Oliver Felix picked off Davenport for the only interception of the night. The drive was extended with a roughing the passer on third down, and two more penalties moved Brookville into the Eagles' territory. McDaniel then found his favorite weapon, Trevor Johns, for a 21-yard pickup on fourth and four from the 25, and the McDaniel punched it in from two yards out a couple plays later. He's throwing the ball better every week, Lineberg said about his quarterback, who finished 8 of 19 passing for 95 yards and one touchdown, while rushing 13 times for 59 yards and two scores. He runs the ball exceptionally well. He's just, he's our leader, a good leader for us. The Bees, 3-2, tacked on an important T3 points, Lineberg called them, with a 31-yard field goal by Logan Wright in the waning seconds of the first half. That was key, Lineberg said, you know, 17 points is hard to overcome in high school.